I'm drawn to the transformation, I'm drawn to the shamanistic, I'm drawn to the totem, I'm drawn to the, a lot of the subject matter that I probably have been introduced to through studying anthropology when I was on my first BA. It's not that I'm saying, oh, salamander, oh, a moth. It's, it's that I'm into the poetry, I'm into the, um, the desire to be other. I really enjoy laughing. I really enjoy having fun. I would never try to set aside humour. I'd always want to naturally have it as an ingredient. And then I also think it's a, maybe it's linked to possibly magic realism, the sort of Latin American literature, and the idea of sort of heavy subjects, but with, with elements of sort of magic and narrative. So it's, it's, I would say I am definitely interested in the mixture of those qualities and naturally irreverent to some extent to um, stuffiness and establishment. I've started to make a lot of the energy and massive sort of excitement of the performances slightly contained within a panel. So I've gone and wallpapered the backdrop image onto a wooden panel and then I've made sort of a system of pegs so that you can then attach the prop or the costume or the art object onto the panel. And the nice thing about it is that it seems to give a wildness and expressiveness a chance of being almost packaged but not stifled. The works that I was drawn to use in the, on the panels from the Scottish National Gallery collection, they are in this incredible collection. The Scottish National Gallery has a great collection. It's huge. There's a sort of pastoral collection by Boucher and I really enjoy them because they're quite, to, in my mind, exciting or sumptuous images from art history that I would naturally be drawn to. The lanternfly is an example of me making an object and a, attaching it to the panel and the lanternfly in my mind is as romantic as the pastoral scene. It's modelled from a small beautiful insect that actually could be seen to be a little bit comic. When there's a, a subject matter that's quite serious, I've put it, matched it with an animal audience to pull it down. In this exhibition, there's a really fun panel, which is really um, exuberant and uh, buoyant and boisterous because it has these salamanders on it that are bright red and they have yellow spots and they also are literally bouncing off the surface on metal attachments. It is, in a goofy way, through conversations and discourses around even the relationship between 2D and 3D and when, when something qualifies as a painting or not. I like just having fun and on a simple level it's also pragmatic that there is a total pragmatic rational self where I'm economising, I'm thinking of the environment, I'm green politics, I'd say I'm trying to make the most effective, ambitious, flamboyantly uplifting kind of expressive work but within a containable, um, economic, um, resourceful uh, medium. To be versatile and to be an eclectic artist, what, what the outcome is, is that you're not shaping or only working with one material or one form of outcome. What you're doing is, is holding an idea in your mind and understanding whether it would be appropriate to make it as a live, exploding, celebratory performance, or would it be better and more effective to communicate it in a quiet, self-contained painting form that's almost pocket size? Or would it be appropriate to be gestural with it um, on camera, uh, cleverly, some filmic way? I mean, like it's, it's a kind of, it's a kind of, it's all puzzles and problem solving, but a lot of the time it's instinctive. So they're hopefully fun and funny and light and buoyant and morale lifting. All of those elements are things I would want till I die to contribute to.